and welcome back to Frugal Gamer. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about five ways that you can promote your business with just a little bit of money. Now if you're somebody that either has a business that doesn't require too much money or if you are somebody that is just barely making it with your um, business, you have a few ways to go about it where you spend a little bit money and the the uh, reaction can actually be a hell of a lot greater than those uh, free ways that I discussed in my last video. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started and number one is going to be create shirts for the team. Now when you create shirts for the team what you're doing is you're allowing them to walk outside with the shirt on. Now, no, I don't mean, oh, let's make a uniform. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about merch. Merch that you are not giving away for free. Now, if you were to uh, create these shirts for your uh, team, what this allows your team to be able to do is, like I said, they can walk out the door with just the uh, merch on. And uh, what this will do is this will make people look and say, hey, what's that? Especially family members and friends. So therefore, they are more, they're like twice as likely, if not three times as likely, to... Um, spread the word about what's going on and it will make the people that don't know about it already look at them and be all like hey what's this you know people will be more interested if they see that there's merch out for it already because then it's going to make people look into it number two is going to be make flyers now when you make flyers what this means is that you are making copies of a piece of paper that has the uh logo the product name and or the business name uh, flyers can allow people to be able to uh, go ahead and see stuff without anybody really having to do any extra work all they have to do is set it up around town and then when they set it up around town with this can do is this can allow them to get to people that don't use social media or they don't use um they don't go out so much or anything like that like you don't have to be outside for them to see hey this is a thing but instead making flyers you just put them around you wait for you go home and then you wait for people to follow up on whatever it is that you're trying to do. Number three is going to be create patches and pins for the team to wear. Now, for example, uh, I was actually planning on buying a custom patch from Etsy for the uh, YouTube channel right above my breast where uh, people can it's not only is it elevated because of it being above the breast, this even works for men, don't worry. But um, because it's a little bit elevated on the breast, what that allows people to do is it's more eye catching because it's elevated and because it's in the chest area, people are more likely to look at that. You know, when they're not bothering to look at your face, they can see that and they're all like, oh, hey, that's cool. What's that all about? And then you'll get asked questions about it and you can answer them. But pins work just as well. I know some people don't like patches just because they have to sew it in or, you know, whatever the case may be for that specific individual. Number four is going to be pay someone to share your product. Now, you all you really have to do is you just go around and you ask people on social media, Hey, would you be willing to share the product or, you know, what, whatever you need marketed? Cause you know, maybe it's not a product, maybe it's a website, but, um, 
yeah, just ask people to share it. And a lot of the times they will say, oh, pay me first and then I'll do it. If this is the case, pay them. Because they, 90% of the time, they underestimate just how much of an effect that can have on your business. And it is something so small, too. So, you know they're not going to ask for very much. But, um, number five is going to be, you can start a blog. Now, if you start a blog, you will be able to reach a lot more people just for those who prefer to read blogs or uh, watch vlogs or, you know, however you decide to do it. You will be attracting the attention of those people on top of your actual target audience. And a lot of bloggers, or not bloggers, but people who like bloggers and vloggers, a lot of these people will actually be more into blogs and vlogs and then if they see that there's that you have some other way that you know you, they can support you they are still likely to do it just because you're a blogger and or vlogger all right and that was it for this one so go ahead and like this video if you liked it leave a comment down below about if you would like to try any of these or if you want any feedback on anything that I've actually done or, you know, anything like that or any support you want to give me, go ahead and just leave it in the comments below. Please, please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.